Well, I think the unique part of the three gram dosing is there's a history uh, within clinical trials looking at nosocomial pneumonia over the last, let's say, almost 20 years where the trials really haven't been designed in an optimal manner. And part of the problem with some of the prior studies have been the dosing of the drug. So I, I think there's been this perception in the past that you know we need to have one dose for all indications. That just doesn't make sense clinically. We know that antibiotics have different penetration capabilities within the lung, and we've seen some clinical failures in the past uh, that have resulted in unfortunate events. A couple of examples would be the septibiprol trial in patients with nosocomial pneumonia, the experience with tigacycline, the Dorypenem study in patients who had ventilated pneumonia as well, all of which uh, demonstrated that the new drug being evaluated did not do as well. And a lot of that had to do with the way the drug was dosed within the study design. The aspect nosocomial pneumonia study, the three cram dose, was the unique, one of the unique aspects of it because it was tailored for treating gram negative infections within the lung based on the epithelial lining fluid concentration studies that were done prior to the study. So we actually did those studies, got the measurements within the lung, and then that helped us to design the proper dosing for treating these patients. Having done that, you know, in this non-inferiority study, we were able to demonstrate that when we look at 28-day mortality, there were no differences between the two groups. That's what the non-inferiority aspect of the study is meant to do. But when you actually look at the study, there are signals that even within that trial, there may be some advantages for septelazone tazobactam. As an example, you know, patients who had ventilated HAP did better. I mean, their mortality was less than in the group that got treated with meropenem. And there are other subgroups which will be in the manuscript that will be published highlighting that effect as well.